my name is Andy Williams. I'm a knee surgeon based in London, England, and most of my work is with professional athletes. It's a huge pleasure for me to be here in Florence. It's a, such a beautiful place to come, and I'm also excited about the conference. My talk is on advances in anterior cruciate ligament injury and surgery, and I'm focusing on the anatomy of the ligament, but also of damage at the periphery of the joint that occurs at the same time as ACL rupture, for example, to the anterolateral ligaments and the other structures such as the elliptical band on the lateral side of the knee, but also the medial meniscus in particular. I'm going to explore the importance of these structures in controlling rotation of the knee and also in resisting anterior tibial translation. We will also discuss the various operative techniques on the lateral side of the knee and also how that the fact that the anterolateral ligament, despite all of the interest and excitement in the subject, is really not that important. The most important stabiliser with regard to internal rotation and the pivot shift on the lateral side of the knee, in fact, is the iliotibial band with its attachments to the femur. The ALL is really a very small, weak structure and from our experiments in London we really don't believe it's a very important structure. With regard to the medial meniscus, this is an important stabiliser for the anterior cruciate ligament deficient knee and we discuss the so-called ramp lesion which occurs frequently with ACL rupture and is a peripheral tear of the meniscus or a peripheral meniscocapsular separation. And we've shown in the laboratory that failure to recognise this lesion, failure to repair it, is not good for the knee.